All right, so if you want to get DBs in and 6 1 at your user and outside linebacker positions, this is what you need to do. We're going to make this quick, fast, and in a hurry. So, your starting D tackles, D tackle one, two, three, and four. Your three and four D tackle gonna have to be your starting left end and your starting right end. Your backup right end and then your backup left end is gonna be your starting right outside linebacker, starting left outside linebacker. Accordingly, make sure they are, the, are actually left ends and right ends, not secondary positions. Then your starting middle linebackers is gonna be a right outside linebacker and a left outside linebacker. Now, you want to make sure your backup safeties are pretty high overall. You want to make sure you got some high overall corners. You know what I'm saying? And I got to go. I go to specialist. I got Derwin James here. Make sure you're left, right. Rush left in, rush right in, rush D tackle. Just make sure that that is starting left in right there. You can also put in some extra corners right here if you want to. Make sure that the overall of your backup DBs that you're going to want to be subbed in is higher than anybody on your offense or one that offensive person can be subbed in. I had messed around and had a 90 overall Martellus Bennett and he would get subbed in on this. Now let's go to practice mode so you guys can see exactly what you need to do next. First and foremost, you want to make sure you flip sides. So go into practice mode, click flip sides. Just go and run a play so we can flip the sides for you. So you go into six one and what you want to do is you want your highest overall players to be available to be subbed in. So I like to do is I like to go to my starting corner and make him like my third string corner, my starting free safety, make him my backup free safety, my starting strong safety, make him make him my backup strong safety, my starting cornerback one. I want to make him my cornerback four, and then you want to go to the right end position, this position right here, and it's gonna pop up. It's gonna be that left outside linebacker. What you want to do is sub him in, then press start. Coach settings, well coaching depth chart. It's going to be quick and fast once you get used to it. You press triangle, auto reel, or the depth chart is go to right end and sub out that starting right end for a D tackle. That right end that you took out, you want to sub him back in as the starting D tackle. Then you want to go to right outside linebacker. And the person that you subbed in in the very beginning before we came here, that for me, that's Clay Matthews. You want to make him right outside linebacker too. Press circle, go back. What you want to do is you want to press left on the right analog stick boom as you can see i have newbin at right outside linebacker jair at uh left outside linebacker and my user is justin reed now when you press triangle to go in you will see that it kind of changes but you can see that that is jair that is indeed reed and jair a little short so actually i like him keep him right there like i said that's not that's not him and then your defensive line you know what i'm saying kind of come the better the players the better your defensive line is going to be but this is just to show you guys. So what I would do here is I would sub in the people that I want. So Arnold isn't in at all. So we're going to put Arnold there. Keep Holland. Keep Hamilton. Why here? Um, we keep him there as well. Just to show you guys. Let's go ahead. Um, boom. Boom. We're going to do that. Going to come out in that. And we're just going to make them come out in that. Just so you guys can see that it is, it is indeed them. Newbin, Justin Reed. Jair Alexander. Boom. All the people that we subbed in. On it in. Now you got yourself some DBs and at 6 1. At lock in. You won't DBs in at 6 1 because they move so damn fast.